guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. Today is day two of my travel series. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what I packed in terms of cosmetics and beauty. Now, all of these things I have contained within one big bag, which is the Vera Bradley Grand Traveler. Before we get into the contents of my bag, I just want to make a little quick statement. If this is the first time that you have seen any of my videos, I just wanted to explain that I am a planner. I have been planning this vacation since last summer. I do, I'm not a spontaneous person. I have to have everything planned out, written down, a to-do list, a packing list. So everything that you see here has been planned out to the bags, what goes in each bag, every single thing. So my brother-in-law has been the one that has set all of this vacation information up. So this time last year, we booked the house and we have been planning ever since. So at that moment when we decided when we were going and how much it was gonna cost and how long we were gonna stay, I went and took inventory of what type of packing pieces I had and then decided what pieces I still needed. So for gift giving holidays, like Christmas and my birthday and Mother's Day, I asked for pieces for this vacation. So everything that you're about to see was either a gift or something that I purchased and none of it was full price. So I will be sharing with you what each piece is, the contents of each piece, and roughly how much I paid for it or how much a family member paid for each thing. Okay, what you are seeing here is the Vera Bradley Grand Traveler Tote. Now, I looked for a long time until I decided to get this. This is in the pink swirl print. It was retired once I purchased it, and it is part of the Vera Bradley Breast Cancer um, print collection. So, I actually did not buy this, but I did pick it out. This was from my mom for Christmas. And I watched this bag once I decided I wanted it for a very long time. And I price matched and when I saw that it had went to a price that was the cheapest that I'd ever seen it, I asked my mom to purchase it. So I think this bag is usually, I want to say like $100, $110 roughly between there. We paid roughly $48 for this bag with free shipping. So, if you choose a discontinued print from Vera Bradley and you watch it, they will have sales from time to time, especially around the holidays, to where you can get 50% off of the discontinued print. So, I watched it until it went the cheapest I had ever seen it. And still to this day, I don't think I've ever seen the Grand Traveler for any cheaper than $48. So, I think that was a steal on this bag. So, before I get into this, let me just say... The one thing that is not inside of this bag is my Amazing Grace body lotion. And this is what I use to put on my legs, my arms, all over my body every single day. So you might be wondering why this is not inside of my accessory bag. And that is because I am always scared to put lotion inside of a bag. Especially when it has one of these tops on it. Because I'm scared I'm going to get to my destination and there's going to be lotion all in my bag. So this will probably sit either by me or beside my bag in the back of the vehicle. So I have my lotion. Now, inside this bag, it is stuffed to the very top. But, just like any other bag I carry, my work bag, my purse, everything in here just about is divided into a separate bag. Okay, so when you open it up, I'm going to pull everything out, and then I will go into each one of them. Okay, this bag here is, oh, it's a, I think it's the Vera Bradley Full cosmetic and everything that is still available I will make sure to put links below I don't get any money if you make a purchase after using one of those links and this is in the Heather print I've had this for a very long time I bought this I think two or three years ago when they discontinued the Heather print and I think I got 50% off of it okay and I purchased it with a few other things next I have the Henry Bindle cosmetic. It's the four-piece train set. Now, I asked for this for Christmas. My mom got this for me for Christmas in addition to this Grand Traveler bag, and I had never seen 
this set before until Jennifer Ross from Pretty Neat Living shared her traveling series last summer and she had this exact same case. So when she showed it, I immediately went to the Henry Bindle website and saw that this set was 50% off. So I asked my mom to purchase it for me for Christmas. And there are four pieces in this set. So I think that's a pretty good deal for how much my mom paid for it. Then I have, this is called, I think they call this the Vera Bradley Diddy Bag, D-I-T-T-Y. I'm not even sure if they still, still sell this, but this is in the, I think, Canterbury Magenta, and this has all of my medication in it. And this I actually purchased, nope, my husband purchased this for me, I think two years ago for Valentine's Day. It came with the Get Carried Away tote in the same print from QVC. And then last but not least, and then I have some things on the side too. Then last but not least, I have this tote right here that is basically my hair caddy. And this is a 31 Gifts double duty caddy. And this is normally, I think, $25, but I got it for $12 during the month in April because it was the customer special. I purchased a few things for, um, I think it was for school that I purchased for, or no, I purchased the zipper pouch to share with you guys. And I got this one for $12, so I decided to use it as my hair caddy for my trip. Okay, so those are the big bags contained within the Grand Traveler. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do before I get into any of the contents of any of these bags here is share what I have on the side of this bag. And let me show you how big it is on the inside. So it has compartments on the side. If you see, there are one, there are two huge compartments on the sides. So two on each side. So I have all four of those little pouches filled with something. Now I don't have anything on the outside. There's a few pouches on the outside that by the time we go on this trip, I may end up filling that with some kind of documents that we might need or um, some kind of small paperwork. And then on the back, this is the one reason above any other that I decided to go with the Grand Traveler. My husband purchased me for Mother's Day a purple piece of luggage. I didn't have any luggage to take on this vacation and I wanted one piece of luggage. You will see that in my next travel series post. It's going to be over my luggage. But this bag here has this little slip right here. So this is going to slide on top of my rolling luggage perfectly. And it has a little purple print in it as well, which will match my luggage perfectly. So I like everything to kind of match that I'm traveling with. That's just how I work. It's not a necessity, but I just think it looks, it looks neat if I travel and everything matches. Okay, so the contents of this bag. Okay, the first thing I have in here is my perfume, of course. This is my all-time favorite everyday perfume. It is the Amazing Grace perfume. I am on um, auto delivery for the entire set. The perfume, the body wash, and the lotion on QVC. So every, I think it is three months, I get a new set of this. And I just absolutely love it. It is fresh. It is a floral scent. And it is not strong. I cannot stand to have very strong perfume. So this is really, really good. I love it. I don't think I will ever get tired of it. I've used it, I think it's for six years. And I still love it as much today as I did back then. So I'm traveling with that. Then, of course, you can't go anywhere being a female and not travel with your feminine products. So I have some feminine products in here. And then I have my contact solution. And I don't know why I didn't put this in the other bag. And my Ultra Repair First Aid Beauty Cream that I put on my face that I've shared with you guys in the past on one of my favorite things list. This thing is amazing. I love it. It doesn't take very much and it feels really good to my dry skin. Okay, and then the last pouch, I have three little bags. 
Okay, I'm going to go through each one of them. The first little bag here, and this is the little Bagalini set. And I got this several years ago. I want to say maybe four years ago. They came in this set of three, and I'm wanting to say I got it off of e-bags. I'll see if, I, if they're still available and put a link below. Okay, but the little small one here just has some hair accessories in it. I have some hair ties. I have some bobby pins, and I have some of these little bitty, if I can get them out, I have some of these little bitty rubber bands that my daughter and I use to put our hair halfway back. So, this is my little hair accessory thing, or package. The little second size one here, the little blue one, it holds just some um, Q-tips and some cotton rounds and before i go i have it on my to purchase list i need to put get some of the little dental floss sticks i would like them to have a little package with them and i'm also going to put those inside of this little package and my last pouch the biggest one of the three the little pink one it has all of it just has some little hygiene things in it it has my toothbrush and I don't have any toothpaste in here because my husband usually travels with the toothpaste in his bag. Then I have some extra contacts. A razor. I have started buying men's razors because they work better and because they're cheaper. So this is actually a disposable men's razor. And I have my can't go anywhere without a set of tweezers. And then last but not least for this pouch, a set of nail clippers. So that is everything that is inside of a compartment on the sides of my Grand Traveler bag. Now we're going to go through the four bags that were contained inside of my big bag. And we're going to start with the easiest one first, and that is my hair caddy. Because there's really, I mean, it's pretty basic, self-explanatory. So this tote actually carries more than I really thought it was. When I got this, I was like, I don't really know how much it's going to fit. I looked at pictures on Instagram, and I still didn't get a clear idea of how much it was going to fit in there. But it actually fit all of my hair care products. So, and some of this stuff is things, some of this stuff is things that I don't use, but my daughter does. So that's why it's in here. So we're going to start with this, the Chi Silk Infusion that y'all have seen me share before that has been one of my favorites and is still one of my favorites today. I like to put this on my hair after I get out of the shower and before I blow dry it because I have very frizzy hair. And in the south, it makes it even worse if I don't put something on it. So this helps a whole lot with the frizziness in my hair. Then I have this detangler that my daughter uses for her hair. Dry shampoo. And this is, I've tried many different brands of dry shampoo. And the Dove dry shampoo is my all-time favorite of any that I have tried. So I'm traveling with that. Hopefully I won't have to wear, wash my hair as much. And then my favorite shampoo is the Pantene. And I like all different types of the Pantene. Right now, this is the Miracle Repairing Shampoo with Keratin. Repair and Protect. Since I do color treat my hair, I am using this right now because it's looking kind of bad with the heat. So I'm hoping this will help my hair a little bit. Okay, so that's all for that one side. Now, over here, first thing, you got to travel with a blow dryer. And here's what you might be thinking. Well, how many people are going with you on vacation and do you all need a blow dryer? Here is my theory on the blow dryer. I like the way my blow dryer runs. I have tried going um, to family members' homes and using their blow dryer, and there's just nothing like using your own blow dryer. You're used to it. I feel like we're pretty friendly. I know how it runs, and that's why I'm taking my blow dryer. I just prefer it over any other person's blow dryer. 
Of course, Static Guard. Y'all have heard me talk about this before. I not only use the Static Guard to get the cling out of my clothes, but also I use it to get the um, static out of my hair. So this is a necessity to travel with. Hairspray, not really because I use it, but my daughter uses it when she pulls her hair up a little bit. So she's the reason why we're taking this. I don't usually use a lot of hairspray. My brush that y'all have heard me talk about. I love this brush. I have been using this brush for a year and I still love it. It's probably one of the, my favorite brushes I've ever used. It's the finger brush. And last but not least is my flat iron. And this is a Bagolini case. And it is, I think, the curling iron case. And you can put your flat iron in here or your curling iron in here, even when it's hot and it won't burn the fabric or burn anything else. So I love this. And I got this idea from Alejandra from Alejandra.tv. So I didn't know anything about it until I saw her post her video over it. And I went out and I think I got this from the container store. But you can also get them on Amazon and they come in many different colors. I think she had orange and this one is the hot pink. I think it comes in green and blue and maybe a few other prints. So that is all for my hair caddy. And of course I have a little rag down here in the bottom of this. Just in case there's some water inside of the cap of my shampoo and conditioner. Next, we're going to talk about my medication kit, and I have my medication kit inside of this Vera Bradley ditty bag. Um, it came with one of my other bags, like I mentioned, and I decided to use it for my medication, and that's what it looks like. And this, I think, one of the big ways that people use this bag is through, like, wet clothes. It's got a lining on the inside, so let's say that you are at the pool or at the beach, and you have wet clothes or wet towels, you can throw it in here and it won't get anything else wet. So I think that's the main use for this bag, but I'm using it as my medication bag for today. So I have my daytime pills here and y'all have seen my pill organizers before. I've got two separate pill organizers. This one is for my day pills. And then this one here is for my morning and my evening pills. So I have those two already filled that are going to go inside this bag. Now, I could just travel with these two right here and be fine for the week. But here's me. I tend to worry. What if I get there and somebody dumps it out in the toilet or I lose it? What's going to happen? I'm not going to have any of my medication for the week. So what I've done is I've put all of my big medication bottles in here just in case something was to happen to those. So I've got my multivitamin and I use the Vitafusion Multivites and you can get these at Walmart. I have my same brand Vitafusion D3 um, gummies and I usually take two of these. I'm supposed to be on 5,000 IUs but I just take 4,000 and so far I think it that is enough for me. Then I have my Iron Complete from GNC, Women's Iron Complete tablets that I take once a day. And this is for my anemia. These are working very well. Then I have my Probiotic. And this one I got from Walgreens. And then I have my, let me cover up these things. Then I have one of these is for my Zoloft and the other one is for my thyroid pill. So all of those items are going to be housed inside of this bag to travel on vacation. Next, we're going to take a look at this bag here. I think it's called the Full Cosmetic by Vera Bradley. You can see I'm a huge fan of Vera Bradley. I just like the way that their bags hold up over time, and you can wash them, and they still look brand new. So this is what I was using as my makeup bag until I got the Henry Bindle case. So this right now is just holding my extra beauty things. So I've got my Purity in here. And y'all have seen me talk about my Purity before. It has made one of my favorite things lists. I use this every single day. I love it. I do not need a wash rag with it. It works great. So basically I have all my face products in here. I have that. 
Then I have my Pond's Cold Cream y'all have seen me talk about to take the rest of my eye makeup off because I do use waterproof mascara. And my Simple Micellar Water that I use on my face to make sure that my purity took all of my makeup off. Definitely around my hairline. Then I have two extra hair claws. I use these for when I'm flat ironing my hair and my daughter also uses them when she uses, um, when she takes a bath. Then I have my glasses. I should be getting new glasses in the mail in the next couple days. I cannot find the case to these. So I've just kind of gently sat them in here in hopes that I will get my new glasses pretty soon because these are really scarred up. Then I have my contact case, of course. And deodorant. And I use the Suave 24-Hour Protection Powder Invisible Solid Deodorant. And that is all that is inside of this bag. And I saved the most complicating bag of them all for last. Now, this is my Henry Bindle case. Y'all, this is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be when um, I asked my mom to buy it for me. It is huge. Okay, so you get the clear plastic case. You get two of these smaller cases here. And then you get one that lays flat on the bottom. So you can either compact these into this clear case here, or you can use the clear case separately. So you can use this thing to fill up and then all three here. I've just decided to nest them inside of the clear case because I don't need this for anything extra. Now, when we come home from vacation, I may need to use this, so I'm not really sure. So we're going to start with the very bottom one here. This is what I have my eyeshadow palettes and my brushes in. Okay, and this is what the inside looks like. And I will say this. I was kind of leery when I got this because I was not sure about the lining. But I usually, when I have packed using that Vera Bradley bag that you just saw, the full cosmetic, I've normally put everything in Ziploc bags because it did not have this little slick interior. This has a nice laminated interior that you can just wipe clean if any makeup gets on it. So that makes me very happy. So I have my Tartlet and Bloom palette. And y'all, I do not have a lot of makeup. I'm not a big makeup person. I am one of those people that will buy something. Then once I use it all, I'll buy something else. So this is probably, this is basically what I have for eyeshadow right now. I have the Tartlet and Bloom palette. And then I have the Naked Smoky collection. So these are the two that I use if I'm going to use eyeshadow in a given day. So those, and then I have my little Real Techniques, and I've got an extra because this one is looking kind of dingy. Uh, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So this is, I've heard, kind of equivalent to the Beauty Blender. Not nearly as good, but so far I'm liking it, so I'm going to stick with it, and it's a lot cheaper than the other. So I have these in here. Then underneath my eyeshadow palettes are all of my brushes. And you guys, these are brushes that I use on a daily basis for my powder, for my blush, my eyeshadow, and I think that might be it. So all of these are the Real Techniques brushes, and I got them all from Ulta. The last two cases here, I have all of my makeup in. So I've just kind of divided my makeup up. Half of it to fit in one, the other half to fit in the other. So let's start with basically my base top of makeup here. I think it's in this one. Yes. So I have two types of face primer. This is the one that I got recently. It is the Supernatural from Philosophy. And it's got an SPF 15 sunscreen in it. This is really good. This was on the outlet when I purchased it from Philosophy. I was not sure if I was going to like it or not. When you put it on your face, it has a little orangey tint to it. But when you apply it, it goes clear. So I really like this. And it's nice and moisturizing. I have dry skin, so this is working great so far. Then I also have the Ulta Fabulous Face Primer in here too. It's like a clear gel. It works well as well. So I've just got both of those depending on what I want to wear each day. Next I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I am in the shade 15 Fair. I am the lightest shade possible. I've got very light skin. So um, I haven't tanned at all. So that's why right now I am in this shade. 
Okay, then last for this, this is the foundation that I'm using right now. It is the Miracle Worker Foundation. I'm really liking it. It has, um, it is for, let's see, Miraculous Anti-Aging Liquid Makeup Broad Spectrum, and it also has an SPF in it of 30. So I just wanted to try this. I was using the Hope in a Jar, and I wanted something that had a little bit more coverage, had a little bit more moisturizer in it. So I decided to try this, and I'm really liking it. I've been using it for the past month, and so far I'm really enjoying it. So that is all for this little cosmetic here. And at first, when I got this, I was like, that is not going to fit a lot of makeup. But y'all, it fits perfectly. I mean, I've only used up about half of the space in this little cosmetic bag. So they're a lot bigger than you might think. And then this bag here holds everything else. Okay, so it has my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer that I use every single day. Then I have two of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. And one of them is the Blushing Bride. And then this one is the True Love. Now, this Blushing Bride isn't nearly as dark as the True Love. So if I'm just having a casual day, I'll wear the Blushing Bride over the True Love. Then I have an eyelash curler. This um, NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm really liking this. It wasn't that expensive. But I'm really, really liking it. It works very well for what I need it to do. Then I have my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is the waterproof one. I am in the market to try a new waterproof mascara so if you would recommend one please leave those in the comments below because i'm thinking over time during the day this leaves a nice little black ring under my eye so please leave me some comments below if you would recommend a different type of mascara one that doesn't cost you know fifty dollars i'm not paying a lot of money for mascara and then i just have this nyx soft matte lip cream and i have another one in a different color that i think is in my purse and this one is in the buenos aires color this is more of a peachy color and then i just have some vaseline lip therapy advanced healing just in case i need some kind of just some kind of lip gloss on my lips and then last but not least, I have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. This is the best eyeliner I have ever used after I learned how to use it. So if you were in the market for new eyeliner, I highly recommend this one. And that is all for this little cosmetic. all for my cosmetics and beauty for this vacation make sure you check out my description below for all of the products that I've mentioned today I don't get any money if you click a link and make a purchase and I hope you stay tuned next week for my luggage post I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the travel series videos and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time bye you guys